Hi, Bobby Wilson here, and I've got a great tip for you about extension in your swing, but I have to make a comment. Rory McIlroy put on another stellar exhibition of golf this last weekend, winning the Bridgestone. And did you hear what he said on Friday and Saturday in his interviews? They said, you're hitting your driver. Is that the key to your whole game? And he goes, absolutely. When I'm, he goes, and when I'm driving it well, I'm, it seems like my whole game is well. So I know that was a lousy accent, but I just want to tell you, that's been my philosophy. But one thing that he does that has everybody else beat is he has an old classic swing that I figure is this. Extension creates lag. Width creates narrowness, which creates width again. So I want to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So I see most of you have your alignment sticks up. They're seeing how you align yourself, and you're like, okay, I, know, I want to keep everything here. I'm watching it. But you forget about one thing. Keeping that club on the line, your driver, as long as possible, will produce a wider swing, which creates better lag and more distance. I think he averaged 320 yards this week, Rory did. And some of them, there was one day he averaged 320 yards with no roll. Imagine doing that and, you, and trying to play a golf course like Bridgestone. You'd shoot a few under, I bet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit one for you just to show you how I create width. I'm going to take that club back, what I consider low and slow, but you have to also finish low and through the shot. There's my extension. It doesn't do me any good to take it back low and slow and transition and hit down and come up and not finish. So here we go. I'm going to give you a good example of what I consider great extension. Now, you need a drill. I've explained it to you, but you need a drill. So I've got an alignment. I've got a shaft here that shows my alignment, which everybody does. Imagine taking one and doing this for yourself. Put a shaft on the ground just behind the ball or just inside of it. Tee one up and watch this. See how I'm going to take the club down that line, down that, that alignment line right here? That's what I would do, but guess what? I don't want to put it just behind it. I want to make sure I follow through. So see how the club will go down that line and follow through. So here's my drill. That's one way to look at it. But the drill I want to show you is very simple. Take a ball, tee it up, take another tee, put it in front of the ball. Take another one and put it behind it. What I'd like to see you do, this is probably 12 inches, maybe 14 inches. And again, we're just trying to retrain. We want to build width in our swing. I'm not changing your swing. I'm trying to build width in it. So when I get width in the swing and I've got this T to T drill, I want to take it back, bump the back T, and when I follow through, I want to hit the front T. Now, <clears throat> this is not to see the ball result. Drills are to develop feel to help you compensate for a bad thought or a bad swing or a little, really a faulty technique. So all I want to do here, set up, Take my position, hit the T going back, and hit the T going through. I missed the front T. They tell me I got a little steep in my swing. But without a ball, it's very simple to do too. Let me see you take it back, hit the T, hit the front T. That's just an example of how you want to see how the club comes through. Notice how I'm still behind the ball, on top of the ball. My arms are extended. My right shoulder's gotten under. My weight's on my left side, even though it looks like I'm behind the ball. So width will give you speed, will give you lag. It will produce power and distance. Guess what it also does? I believe it helps you stay balanced. So remember, if you want to build width in your swing, try the tee to tree drill. And guess what? Golf's a lot more fun when you're out driving your buddies.